So what's happening guys, back with another supplement review. This is Dave with Mission to Muscle. I just finished the workout. It's like 101 here in SoCal. So I hopped in my car. I've been in here for about 10 minutes just setting up the camera, you know, kind of stopping some glares going on because there's like some metal and sun shining in. And I am just, I can't stop sweating. <laughs> it looks like I just, uh, you know, ran through some sprinklers or something, but it's because my car is like a sauna right now. So anyways, I committed to give these reviews no matter what, and I'm just going to enjoy the sauna effect, act like I'm talking to my buddies, give them the lowdown on this pre-workout. We'll jump right into this. This is AP Sports Regimen. It's a Legacy Series pre-workout. We'll jump right into the ingredient profile, then we'll jump into the effects on this one. Right on the top, we have beta alanine, 3.2 grams. This is for the more reps, more sets. Pins, needles, warmth, whatever you get. Then we have betaine and hydrous, 2.5 grams. It's the efficacious dose. That's for cell hydration and power in the gym. Then we have betaine nitrate. Betaine nitrate and all these nitrates are a combination of like, if it's arginine nitrate or betaine nitrate, we'll stick with betaine nitrate, but they're always a combination. This is betaine and nitrates combined together, but that's not two whole grams of nitrates. Each one gram of betaine nitrate is a combination of betaine and 360 some milligrams of nitrates. So every one gram has 360, we'll just say 360 of nitrates, and this has two grams. So we have a total of what is that? Da, 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 720 nitrates in this product. And the rest is betaine. And that betaine is going to tack onto the betaine and hydrous. We had 2.5 grams here. So we got about another 1.3 grams. So you have a total of 3.8 grams right around there of betaine and hydrous. And then, then the 700 something milligrams, 720 whatever milligrams of nitrates for the vasodilation effect in the blood flow. Moving on. D-ribose at 1.5 grams. This is a good ingredient. It's a quick energy ingredient, basically. It's a sugar. There's enough said about that. I don't want to get too much in it. But I want to get it to a peak ATP. So peak ATP is here at 450 milligrams. That's the daily dose of peak ATP. And this is actually uh, adenos adenosine 5 triphosphate sodium. It's a di... I don't want to say sodium. It's a disodium. And this is basically an absorbable form of ATP. So it's like, bam, that's like energy right then and there. 450 milligrams of pure energy that your body can use. Then we have caffeine and hydrous, 300 milligrams, good daily dose. Then we have CDP choline at 250 milligrams. This is for cognitive function, memory, and attention. Then we have theobromine at 200 milligrams. I like that. So this is going to give you some kind of like maybe mood elevation at 200. It's going to make you sweat. <laughs> Kind of like I am right now, but not as much. And it's going to help with fat burning, some more vasodilation effects, and a few other things. Then we have dynamine at 63 milligrams. That's like half the dose, basically. But this is a dopamine enhancer. And when coupled with caffeine, it enhances the caffeine effects and the cognitive effects of caffeine itself. Then we have estrogen, 25 milligrams. This is the bringing all together digestion ingredient so all this stuff can digest in your body and start working for you. So, AP Sports, Legacy Series pre-workout. How did it do? So, jumping right into the scoop. This is one scoop. Man, I'm sweating. <laughs> I hope this is a one-shot take on this video. <laughs> I got sweat building up in my eyebrows there. <laughs> So this is one one scoop at 14 grams. Just so you know, the scoop is about 16 grams. So a flat level scoop is about 16 grams. And if you you know if you want that 14, there's not a lot of um, like high stims in this. So I dosed it at the 16 grams. I just wanted to run it at whatever anybody else would do it at, which is pretty much that flat level scoop because most of you don't have scales. But if you want to get closer to that 14 grams, do a flat level scoop and just kind of shake the scooper around a little bit. The flavor on this, it's 20, uh, we're getting 20 servings. So this is that 20 serving hitter. At least they didn't go with that 40, 20 type thing. This is just like, they're being straightforward and saying, this is 20 servings, 20 workouts. This is a berry, cr berry gusher flavor. And you know, it's a real sugary flavor. So it's got a berry taste to it. It's not like fantastic. And it's got that, like some of these pre-workouts have that, that sugary taste to it where, you know, you might get with some kind of like fruit punch, 
uh, pre-workouts and stuff. So like really sugary type taste to it. Enough said, it's it's decent. You're gonna get it down fine. You're gonna first take the scoop here. This beta alanine kicks in pretty good. So you're gonna take the scoop. Within 10 minutes, beta alanine is gonna hit you and it's gonna hit you at a medium high level. And this beta alanine, just so you know, lasts for a good, I clocked it for an hour and about an hour and a half into training, I felt it again. So it's one of those come and goers. So you might get it for 45 minutes, it may come and go for another 45 minutes to an hour, but I felt it for a while. So it's a good source of beta alanine, really kicks and hits you pretty good. Energy on this particular one. So this is like an energy based pre-workout. This is supposed to do the uh, deliver like cell hydration for power output, ATP for power output, and uh, the caffeine, the theobromine. This kicks in in about 25 minutes. And it'll kick in at 25 minutes and slowly elevate all the way up to 45 minutes. And when it hits that 45 minutes mark, mark, it's not that you have an anxious feeling. So this isn't really like a big anxious feeling pre-workout, but you're ready to go. So you're very ready to go. And it has a lot to do with a mood that you get on this too. So it kicks in for the 45 minutes. You have energy, some very good energy as far as like power output, muscle energy and endurance on this thing for two hours. Really good, especially if you're doing like a sets and reps type pre-workout. Today I finished an hour and a half of training and did 30 minutes on the treadmill and I could have kept going. So very good muscle endurance on this thing right here. Very, very good muscle endurance. And the energy is not stim junkie energy for all you stim junkie guys. It's just a good level of energy to get you rolling and in the gym. Focus on this thing. So focus comes in, you know, you start to see the focus around or feel the focus. You don't see it. You feel the focus around 25 minutes and it slowly builds up to that 45 minutes and really peaks about an hour. And this is a cognitive memory and concentration focus more than anything. So it's almost, it's not nootropic, but it's almost, it's an in your head focus. So it doesn't, you know, blunt out everything around you, but it really brings you into your head. So when you're training, you, it's very, you know, you're just very dialed into everything. Um, the mood on this thing I want to talk about, this gave me, every time I took this, this gave me a rest of the day, all day kind of feel good mood. Now, the only thing that kicks dopamine in this thing is the uh, dynamine. And I love dynamine. So the way they, they and the theobromine might do that too. And the way they, they delivered this thing, it actually gives you like a good sense of well-being, a feel good feeling during your training. So, I mean, you're not happy. I mean, you can be, it just depends on where it takes you, but you feel good. So when I talk about that energy kicking in around 45 minutes, as far as that's like, you feel like there's no anxious feeling, but you're ready to go. It's because you feel good. <laughs> The pumps on this thing, unfortunately, I picked this up because of the nitrates and there was no L-citrulline in this thing. So I wanted to try it with just nitrates and I wanted to see, you know, what was going to happen with the pumps. The pumps are vasodilating pumps and a little bit of that dry pump, but there's nothing to brag about. So you don't get any kind of like super, super tight feeling. You get more of a, a underlying tightness with the vasodilation and a tad bit of cell swelling with it, but it's not extreme. So if you're into a pre-workout or you're looking for a pre-workout that delivers like just energy that you can just keep on pounding out a workout kind of a daily driver type pre-workout with a concentration more than anything focus with little little pumps i'm not gonna say little no it's just little little bit of pumps then this is a damn good pre-workout to do i mean i enjoy it i and that feel good feeling you know like that sense of well-being is what i want to say so hopefully this was good <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee my seat's probably soaked right now. <laughs> I better get going, get upstairs, take a shower, and get on with my day. This is AP Sports Regimen Legacy Series Pre-Workout. I'll put a link down below where you guys can snatch it up if it's something you guys are looking for. Other than that, this is Dave. I hope you enjoyed the review. We'll see you next time on the channel. <laughs>